in my life. Yes. Okay, this is working. Okay, you guys, I am doing a live with Best Buddies. I posted on my Instagram stories. I'm waiting right now to join with my first guest of the morning, which is Clay Medlock. I think he just requested to come on. But for those of you who don't know, Best Buddies is an organization that I've worked with for a very long time that helps adults and children with developmental disabilities. And the, a lot of everybody that makes up the Best Buddies program is called, they're buddies. So I'm just basically bringing in a lot of buddies today. It will be really fun. Clay looks like a character. A lot of, a lot of the people I'm going live with today I've actually met. And I think I've met He's going to join. And we can ask him any questions. And then later today, we have Kit Callie, who I've met before. We have Miracle, who's got the best personality ever. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Where are you? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. No way. Yeah. Are you a Panthers fan? I'm a huge Panthers fan. Oh, my gosh. I have a surprise for you. Christian, he's Clay is a Panthers fan and he lives in Charlotte. He is my favorite. <laughs> I'm I'm doing a live with Clay and he's from Charlotte and he's a huge Panthers fan. Yeah. Will you come say hi? Yo, Christian. You come say hi. <laughs> so yeah, we are gonna have a good season, right? Maybe I'll see you at a game. Yeah, maybe. I like that. Yeah. He's coming. He's just he just woke up so he's a little tired. I feel that. I woke up and I was like, I don't want to go back to sleep. I know. Yo What's up, man? How are you? I'm pretty good, man. Dude, I love you, man. Oh, I appreciate it, buddy. I love the hat. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You That's know? awesome. You gotta send it over. I'll, I'll sign it and send it back. We gotta get you out to a game this year. Oh yeah, I love that man. I need some tickets. That's what I need. Yeah, oh, I I got you. We'll get in touch with Olivia after this. We'll get we'll get you you and your fam some tickets. Okay. Tell Mars to send me a hat, and then I can have him sign it, and then I can send it back. That'd be awesome. I'm sure Mark's watching this. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'll go Yay! That. Yeah, it'd be fun. We'll get you on the field and everything. Oh my favorite. Yeah. That would be so fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm super. I can't excited. believe you're from Charlotte. I had no idea. So, um, do you have? A, are there a lot of buddies in Charlotte? Because I've actually never done any events there, but because I live in LA. Yeah, I actually have a few buddies. I have a friend named Dean Chapman. He has autism. He's one of my best friends. Um, and then I have another friend uh, named Alan Thomas. He was my roommate in college, and he has like autism as well. So he's He's there um, in Raleigh. He lives there. And then oh, cool. I have a girlfriend uh, as well. Her name is Virginia Coxey. Uh, oh, I love that. That's such a cute name. I know. She, I love her so much. And, oh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's so sweet. Um, well, I think in Charlotte, they're going to start. We're maybe going to try to do a walk. I don't know if it's happened before, but have you ever done the walk in Charlotte? Oh, uh, yes, I have. I've done it in the past, and it was really fun. I got it with all my friends from school and all my friends from high school and all these um, clubs I've um, met with when I was in high school, college, stuff like that. And it's really fun. Oh, cute. Yeah, we're going to – we'll be at the walk. We'll, we'll definitely be there, man. Be I can't, walk. can't wait to meet you, I don't you, know what's going to happen. It's cute, man. I can't wait. It'll be fun. Well, good talking to you, man. He's gonna go eat his right, breakfast so he can get big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. I had no idea you were in Charlotte. That's so great. Um, do you have? How's quarantine been? Um, quarantine's been good. You know, I've been just relaxed. I've been cleaning up my room uh, to keep me busy. Um, oh, you've been cleaning your room? That's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, I need to do that. I've been trying to reorganize a few things, and I've been doing that for a while. So I just want to keep doing that. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Oh, and Mark said that June 20th, we're doing a virtual walk. So that's really yeah. soon. So I guess you can actually, anyone from can be involved involved in the virtual walk because it will just be over the phone. But someday we'll probably have that, the one in Charlotte like we had before, and that will be fun. 
Yeah, that be it's gonna be really awesome. It's I'm super excited about it, and I just can't wait to see that. I know. Yeah, that would be so fun. Have you ever been to LA? Uh, never been, and I really want to try to go up there one day, one day or something like that. That's been my dream, going up really? there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you'll go soon at some point. Yeah. I've I've done a lot of things with best buddies there, and also in um, Florida. I don't know if you've been been there either, but they do a lot of stuff there. But I'm excited that you're from Charlotte because I feel like that's an area that we're going to start doing way more activities in. Yeah, and I love that. It'd be super fun and fun for me too because it make my my job a lot easier. Plus, I am the buddy director at out of state. I was. Um, oh. And it was really fun, and I started getting very amused with it. And my in my high school career. We, uh, unfortunately, my mom introduced to me um, Best Buddies, so I was like, oh, I think this could be very fun. So I got a group together with all my friends, with all my buddies, and we started making the group, um, and it was really fun. No way. That's so, so you were the state director? Buddy, uh, that's my, a huge My mom's the state director. I'm the buddy du director. Oh, tell your mom I said hi, and probably I, I'll meet her. Back. I think she's on here as well. Oh, she is? Yeah, her name is T slash Medlock, so it's really cool. Oh, that's so fun. So are you going to do the, the virtual walk on June 20th? You'll do it, right? Yes, I'm totally am doing that. If you're going to be there, of course I'm going to be there. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you. Well, it will just be <laughs> – it's going to be – I'm pretty sure it's over the internet. Mark will tell us exactly, but if anybody watching wants to sign up for the virtual walk, you can go to bestbuddies.org. And I do have a team. If you go on uh, Clayton, um, I think Clay the Mountain Man, I raised about like $2,000 for my walk team. No way. Yeah, well. Wow, that's a lot. That's got to be more than anybody else or up there. I'm trying to get more. Like, I need all my fans. Like, if you could see me right here, I would love that. Everybody, support Clay's walking group. Please. <laughs> I'll love that. Yeah, we should type in the link. Oh, yeah, we actually, I could pin the link is somehow. I'll figure that out later. Yeah. But so, um, do you, so you live in Charlotte in Char right now. Do you still live with a, with your roommate, or are you living right now at home? Um, so I'm living at home with my parents because I know this quarantine is a little funky. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't waiting for that. So right now my plan um, is that once this quarantine's over, or something like that, I get a job and then trying to make try to progress my way to get an appointment with my uh, used to be my. Um, my friend, Al the Goat, he's also on here as well. He's really, oh, I see him. Yeah, uh, he's one of my best friends, and he's a really cool guy. And he, um, he's telling me a lot of funny things about his Instagram. He's telling me, like, I need a lot of followers. Oh, like really? Does yeah. he live in, so he lives in Charlotte, too? He lives in Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, and he's, he's with, okay, got it. Yeah, you told yeah. me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He's a really cool guy. Um, oh. But, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I can see him everywhere. Also, there's another buddy on here who keeps saying hi. Her name's Kath. Kath Gabriella. Hi, Kath. <laughs> she's really sweet. Yeah. She's very athletic. That's and, so and she's also an amazing painter. Um, so cool. what are your hobbies? So I used to I used to do all sports when I was a kid. Um, started, like, with flag football, which is adaptive, things like that, like Adaptive like football, football, uh, golf, and all that stuff like that. I used to wrestle in high school. I used to play. I used to do karate, and I was a, I was like an athletic kid, so I'm I'm very fair about that. So it's my mom like she influenced me to do all these sports, and because she didn't want me to be on my butt all the time, which I'm doing I now. Um, yeah. But, That's yeah. so good for you. Maybe in Charlotte we can come up with once everything's over, we can come up with some sort of like a sports day. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, sports day would be really fun. Yeah, because we do a lot of bowling and we do a lot of what else do we do? A lot of like candle making. We do pizza making, cookie decorating, but we don't. I haven't done a lot of sports stuff. 
Well, actually, there was the, there's that football game. I don't know if you've ever noticed the football game that they do in Boston with Tom Brady sometimes. Oh, yeah. 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 But we could do that in Charlotte. We could yeah, do that in could, Charlotte, and we could do it with Christian. That would be awesome. So fun. Exactly. I know. That's a really good idea. Exactly. So do you have any siblings, or is it just you guys? Just uh, the four of you. I actually have. It was me, my brother, and my sister used to live with us. But right now, they're married and moved out. So, and I'm like, all right, I'm the only kid in this in this house. I'm very oh. excited by it. So I'm like, yeah. So, so you've but, been cleaning to keep yourself occupied and yes. organizing. Yeah, I've been organizing, cleaning, uh, just maintaining my room all the time. I've been taking care of my family, taking care of other things like that, uh, trying to be a responsible adult, trying to do anything I can do. Um, and that's what my plan is right now. That's so fun. I love that. Yeah, you just have to kind of wait it out. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm in Colorado, and we can now like, we can go out to eat and stuff, which is really nice. Um, so that's good. But uh, I, in Charlotte, I think, are you guys still, you still have to stay home, right? You can't go anywhere? Yeah, I can't go anywhere just yet. Uh, I saw a few things been open, like the haircut parlors I've gone to and Stuff like that. Oh, fun. Uh, but they're, they're pretty decent. Not very not very well, but very decent. And have you been able to see any of your friends yet, or have you just been hanging out with your parents? I've been virtually talking to my best friend, Alan, which I mentioned. Um, we played Fortnite together. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I, I play a lot of Fortnite. We play in the mornings, and we play at night. We do a late night Fortnite. It's really cool. It's a thing that we do. Every night. That's like what Christian does. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> He's obsessed with, I realized that, during this quarantine. That's awesome. With video games. Used to play with me. <laughs> Christian used to play with me. That's what he used to do. That's another really good idea that we should talk to Mark about, too. We should do a virtual game night, gaming night, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for all the buddies that like video games. I love that. That would be yeah. so fun. I don't play video games, but I could probably get him to do it. Yeah, yeah, it'd be fun. I'd be fun if I just played with Cushion, like playing Fortnite and all that. Oh, that'd be dope. That would be really fun. Yeah. Al the goat. He's he re he said facts and Madden. Is that a game that I or something? Uh yeah, Madden is a football game, and oh. it's uh really cool. It's Madden twenty, and we've been playing. I've been playing that since we were in college together, and we just stopped playing and stuff. So uh, that's been going on so far. Oh, fun. Amazing. Well, does anybody have any questions for Clay, who's watching, before we we have a few other buddies that are joining? I think after we might have Miracle, or I think we may have Kaylee. I'm not sure. But I don't even see them on yet. I also have a TikTok as well. Oh, so you're into making TikToks. Oh, yeah. If anybody wants to follow me on there, I am totally down for that. Okay, what's your TikTok handle? So it's at the moneymaker. It's really awesome. It's it's how I at uh, the moneymaker. Yeah, it's oh. with my face. If you can see my face and just see that, it'd be cool. I love you. you're so sw you got a lot of swag. Who came up with all of these captions for you? I mean, um, handles <laughs> or yeah, names. I just you know I have like I have a lot of nicknames um, in my life. So I started off with Steel, um, because it used to be my work name when I was at the YMCA. That's number one. Um, I used to be called the Mad Dog Clay back in high school when I wrestled. Um, oh, and you I, wrestled in high school? That's so cool. Yeah, I wrestled all four years, and I did really well. And it was really amazing, too. So, Well, what's your favorite wrestling movie? I just watched one the other day, I think. I Maybe think, it was it was MMA, but I don't know. What it oh yeah, I, I mine's different. Mine's kind of like the Granby, kind of like kind of like that stuff. But I have a coach um, named Coach Stack, Rick Stack, and he's really cool. He is a dancer as well, but he's really cool and fun. Um, but yeah, he he used to coach me, coach my brother. My brother also did wrestling, and he did like I think he was like forty eight and one. Wow, <laughs> your older brother. The one yeah. that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's so cool. And then somebody had another question. They asked what 
Um, what's your favorite quarantine show? What have you been watching? Oh, you're gonna love this. So I've literally like binge watched every show on Disney Plus, mostly all. Of them. Yeah. I haven't checked out Disney Plus yet, but I've heard it's good. It's really fun, actually. I um I usually go in my dad's man cave. My dad built a man cave. It's really cool. Um, mm -hmm. and I've been watching Disney Plus, and there, and here, and everywhere else. It's been oh. That's so fun. I love that. I'm going to have to get on board with that. I haven't checked it out. I haven't even downloaded that yet on my um, Apple TV. So, mm -hmm. I've been watching a lot of shows, even on Netflix. Um, I think someone answered that um, question for me. Um, oh, yeah. They said, what's your favorite Netflix show? Uh, my Netflix show, um, there's like a lot, though. I have in mind. I forgot which one. I like The Office. Oh, you know who else loves The Office? Christian loves The Office. Oh, that's awesome. I think he should say bye to you, but I don't know where he went. Um, okay, so Disney Plus has all the Disney movies? I had no idea. Yeah. That's crazy. I had no idea. So, like, Lion King, Bambi, everything? I really yes. do have to check that out. Oh, my gosh, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid. Are you kidding me? I used to Aladdin. watch I used to watch that since I was a kid. And I was like, you know what? Now we're getting too old now. So I'm like, eh. So right now I've been watching all the cool shows. I've been watching Lab Rats, Super Life of Zach Cody. Uh, oh yeah. All oh, those yeah. all those old ones out there. I love them all. Some of my favorite. But that was a really good idea. Yeah. Um, I was also gonna say, um, somebody else asked another question to you and then I'll let you go. No, actually I can't. They asked if you watch anime. Anime? I think so. I, I watch a lot. Of, I don't watch a lot of anime a lot. I just watch what I usually watch, which is like Dragon Dodge or um, sort of like Cody, stuff like that. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm going to see if I can find Christian to say bye to you, but I might, probably won't be able to. I think he's somewhere missing. You want to know? He's probably playing video games. <laughs> Point not life for that. I know. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Which is weird. Usually he's very easy to spot. The but, one thing I've also thought, oh, when I looked at your bio, I uh, also saw that you're a good influencer on social media. Mm -hmm. And that's like one of my jobs. Like, I have to be an influencer, uh, influencer on uh, like YouTube and stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah, on TikTok. TikTok is apparently the next big thing. Yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very good at TikTok and I'm also very good on other other things as well. So I like to be an influencer and that's actually my job and I wanted to do that since I was in college. So I, you know, loved it. It was awesome. Good. I love that. Well keep up the good work and I think that I'll be seeing you probably at some point in Charlotte, which will be really fun. Be really fun. Okay, cool. Well, um, I'll see you soon. Tell Mark to send me a hat because then I can get get it signed for you. You got it. Okay. So nice to meet you. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, so now I'm looking for Kaylee, who has to request to join. I guess. Yeah, click. Oh, bye. He signed off. Okay, guys, this is where I'm really bad. I'm trying to find, okay, she's right here. Got you, got you. Okay, so she's joining. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Missed you so much over here. Miss you too. Want to introduce yourself to everyone? Uh, of course, yeah. Hey, guys, I'm Katie Roosevelt. My family calls me KK. I've been with them for years. And I'm an yeah. advocate for people with disability, intellectual disabilities. And I'm a model and an actress. And yes, a correspondent. And what? And really funny? And a correspondent. I got oh, a correspondent. <laughs> okay, I love that. It's so good to see you. So Kaylee lives in California, so I see her a lot. We've done lots of fun things together. We've gone <laughs> bowling. We've done the Mother's Day brunch. We've made pizzas. I'm definitely forgetting some things, but... Same here. <laughs> oh, we went to the movies? Remember when we went to go see... Um, what movie did we get? It was to see Zachary, Zachary Todd. It was called Peanut Butter, Peanut Butter Falcon. We went yes. to the movies together. 
Yeah, we've had some some really fun times. So how's your quarantine been? My quarantine is kind of like a vacation for me, I would say. Because yeah. I've been doing a lot of things for me. Like, I'm always stuck in the house, of course. I know. But I always find something to do. I, like, only once I got bored, but in my whole entire life, I never got bored. Because I'm always, with the name Kaylee, with the C, of course, it means creative. So I always find something so creative in the house. Like, I was, I also been to watch. Netflix the most and Disney Plus to be honest and Disney Plus that's go- what that's what Clay was saying yes he did fabulous by the way so he what he did fabulous on that by the way oh he did yes I didn't know that and um you live near the beach too so can you walk around the beach at all or or go for walks I have been thank goodness I've been doing that lately because I cannot gain weight in the house that is so not like me. So I've been learning to ride my bicycle lately. I just haven't got motivated, but I have been, I mean. So I'm learning how to do that still and kind of feels nice to feel the breeze in the face. And I never yeah. knew that how fast I could go on a bike. So it's kind of new for me. Oh, good. Have, have you never ridden a bike before or just not in a really long time? I try many years but I've been so I've been in this other organization all the way down in Orange County as well and they have this bike camp for people with Down syndrome and I've learned a lot I, let's just say I've learned a lot from their camp on it so like oh, years ago when I was a baby oh I don't know how old I was, but I was definitely cute. And <laughs> <laughs> you're so <laughs> So I've learned. Let's say it's been a while. But now yeah, that's I'm fun. That still, I was scared and now I got confident in it. That's so fun. And I also know you really like to cook, right? I do. That's what your mom told me yes. before. Um, so have you guys been cooking a lot together? Because we've been cooking a lot. So with me, I love to bake. I love to bake the most than cooking. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I just love like during quarantine, I've been making brownies for my family and myself. Because brownies are my favorite sweet department. <laughs> <laughs> but a few things too. But that, and then after that, I, I've been helping around my mama a lot as well. I've been helping around in the house for her into my life. Because I've I never pitched in to help my family a lot with the kids and stuff. So I've been doing a nap with them, having dinners with them, family dinners. We're actually having one tonight. So oh, fun! You're I'm having a Sunday dinner. Can motivate it. I can help her again. <laughs> you're gonna cook. You're gonna bake for your mom. Well, cook actually this time. That's right. And you're with, Are you just with your mom and dad, or you're with your sister too? So, by the way, I love my sister, Dilly. She's on here, too. So, I decided oh. to say that. <laughs> oh, hi. And I actually live with my parents, but with my sister as well. Oh, okay. Nice. Like, my two brothers, they already moved out, but they want to be strand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember your mom told me that about your brothers. Yes. So, you have a pretty big family. I do. I- I'm really close to my family a lot, to be honest. Like, yesterday, I spent time with my brother, Ryan, as well with his friends. So it was kind of, I was walking, like, a whole distance. Like, I was going to his house, and he told me, oh, he's at his friend's house. So I went to, I went to that instead. So it was Aww. a long distance for me. Oh, we <laughs> have a very to. special guest on here. We have Carolina Gonzalez, who's an amazing, amazing uh, makeup artist, which reminds me, Remember when I did your makeup at um, Washington? Yes, I love it. Oh, I wish I had a picture of that. <clears throat> I do somewhere, but I'm on my phone. I, I actually tagged you in it on my Instagram story last night, actually, and Facebook, my other friends, so that they can see me on here as well. Oh, really? So I, I have, like, I found, like, odd photos of us doing the makeups together. I just sent it to you, actually, so you can see them. Yeah, you should send it to me. She's a lot better than I am, but I tried. <laughs> that was fun though that was really fun and you got your nails done yes 
I know that was a while. Oh, I mean, you have your nails done right now too. Look at you. Or are they? They look. Yeah. Yes, you're just, I you're actually made a mom. documentary this. Uh, I'm doing a documentary with a different person right now, so uh, I'm not sure if I can say the title or not. But he goes by Joey. You know, like, um, Joey Kovota, who is the brother of John Kovota. Oh, nice! That's so cool. And they're following you around? Or are they just seeing what your like day to day life is like? Well, this documentary is based in the transition of jobs right now, so that's all I know so far about that. I wish I could play more because my mom knows better than I do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. That's what moms are for. Carolina wants to know what your favorite makeup look is. I just be getting it. Let's just say I just be getting the mail off. I don't have a style. I live oh, in California, I so I'm so she. I'm not, I'm not sure a lot of people are not into makeup nowadays, but now I'm getting better with it. Yeah, I'm just Lexington, and my mom's been helping me, teaching me about a little bit of my own makeup. So I normally do the face area department. Yeah, yeah, I feel like when I did your makeup, I think I just did like a pinky lip because I think your eyes are really green. Yeah. <laughs> Are they really green or are they really blue? Let me see. It's actually, it's, it's kind like, of both. Yeah. I got a choice. I got my eyes from my dad, actually. Not from my mom, of course, and my brother. One, one of my other brothers had the same eyes, too. Oh, so we got love it. Dad. Yeah, I, I remember that. It's like blue green sometimes. Yeah, they're like aqua. Yes. And that's actually one of my new favorite colors, too. Oh, cute. It's always been blue, but I've been um, having other favorite colors. Like, I like violet purple as well, like the light lavender kind, I mean. Yes, yeah, so, that would look really nice. Carolina said you should play with but, color, and she said that you should use sparkle. I feel like sparkle would be so fun to do. Yes. I could see that well, on me, too. I yeah. love the background. Yeah. Does anyone watching have any questions for... Kaylee, I'm seeing, oh, people, no, I don't know if anyone has, have you been watching anything, what's your favorite thing to watch on Disney Plus, and also, do you have a TikTok? I have, so I'm a big social media freak, to be honest, I call myself Facebook queen, so I also have Facebook, I have Instagram, obviously, at Kaylee's fan page, and that one, but the underscore on the name. Okay. But um, I do have TikTok as well. It's the same thing, but not like Kaylee's fan page kind of thing. That's wait. So you're not on TikTok yet, though, or I was do. that? Oh, and it's just Kaylee's fan page. Yes. And oh, okay, also, okay. I forgot to mention to you, Olivia. I should have texted this to you too. Um, in a couple of days, by now, I'll be um doing a podcast with George Lopez himself. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. What are you guys gonna do on it? Um, I don't know yet. He had they haven't asked me anything, but it was my first time networking with him and he was out it turns out he's following me on Instagram, which I never knew about. Because I have so much. I'm sure you have too. Yeah, she's you are you're you have a lot of followers. Yeah. On Instagram. And I also have my own T shirt business as well called Tides of Kindness. I know. Oh, really? That, yeah. Is that what um is that what uh Mark was talking about? Because Mark wanted me to ask you what your job is. Do you want to tell everyone what your job is? Of course. So I have my own job, and I also work for a different company called Entertainment Industry Foundation, oh. and I'm their front desk um administrator as well. And I have my own T-shirt business called Tides of Kindness, and I promote kindness. It's contagious. Oh my gosh, is that what it says on the shirt? Kindness is contagious? I have a lot of them, but that's, I do have that one for sure. Oh. So right I'm now, I'm not wearing that. I'm representing. Best Are we wearing it now? Can we see it? Inclusion lives here. That's the Best Buddies one, right? Yes. And I thought I should show that to everyone because it's so true. You should show us your, your t shirts if you um, have them. If they're far away, don't worry. I'm not sure I have told a lot of people this or not, so you're the very first, and I'm sure they're watching as well. It's either this 
it's definitely this week. So I've been doing、um, my own Instagram life. I got、um, it's been suggested by someone. So I've been representing my type of kindness. So I'm I might be doing my own Instagram live this week again. So、oh, it's、I、been a while,、that. and I'll be wearing one of my T-shirts. Okay, yeah, yeah we'll、too. so we'll keep an eye out for the T-shirts, and then、yeah. Zoe had another really good question. Zoe, I love your questions; they're really good. She's wondering, Kaylee, if you have a celebrity crush. <laughs> I know that you do. I actually do. I have like, to be honest, I have Kazillions, but my very first celebrity crush was back in college. So I'm gonna keep that one right there, and it's Taylor Lautner himself. Mm. I mean, he's said of his work and and everything, for so like even especially in Twilight. But I got that was his breakout, I think. Yeah, but I got into him in two thousand five in the movie of the Shark Boy and the Hulk, the adventure of it. Oh, okay. And the director, who's my favorite, is Robert Rodriguez himself. He filmed that with George Lopez and Taylor Lautner. So、wow. I've always I have like I have, let's just say I idolize. A lot of people, but with Taylor Lautner, for example, I got everything. Yeah, you're so great. You really are on top of it. You have such a good network of people. You know, I just got one of my、um, T-shirts here.、Actually. Did your mom bring it for you? Yeah, my sister actually. Oh, by the way, my fashionista that I adore and love so much. Oh, as well.、Yes. I, I hope you don't mind if I stand up. It looks better that way. Oh yeah, yeah. We definitely、yeah. want to see it. So this is the、um, front. It says "Kites of Kindness." Oh wow! Yeah, and they, they, I did see the Instagram. Did you guys? Anyone watching "Kites of Kindness" did just reply on this chain, so you can follow them. Is your sister on the account right now? Or who runs the account? My sister helps me around with that mostly. And okay, yes,、yeah, so, yeah. that's so sweet. Can、and、we see the back? I'm a model as well. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. <laughs> But this is the back of the shirt, though. Oh, I love it. And that's why, that's why the kindness is contagious. It's true act of kindness. If you say that, if you、um, do that with your friend, it's showing true act of kindness towards them. Because I'm sure a lot of people haven't been kind to each other, and accepting each other who they are. Don't have self doubt in them, and. Don't think about the negative things in their heads and just have fun in their life. Oh my gosh, that's such a good message! Wow. Yes. That makes me feel like emotional. What a good message, Kaylee. Thank you so much. Can you tell everybody where we can get the T-shirts if people watching want to buy it? Of course. I also have it on my. So if you have type my name, KayleeVoicemail dot com, over the three Ws, you can see it right there, or you could type it. Kites of kindness. You put my name next to it, and you see it right there as well. Okay. And if you ever want to like chat with me, I'm here.、What、okay, so it's Tides of Kindness. Um, you can Google Tides of Kindness, or you can go to Tides of Kindness Instagram. Which, if your sister's on it, tell her to, to type something. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> said, yeah, there we go. So、yeah. Tides of Kindness, and then do you know where is the、um, are the funds from Tides of Kindness? Are they going to any organization or are or not as of now? Or are you just trying to spread? Not as of、message? now, kind of thing.、Oh. But I have some ideas I would I might mention to my mom about. I mean, yeah, that would be so nice. Yes. But it's still a really great message. Well, thank you so much. I'm going live after this with Miracle. You know Miracle because we made pizzas together. Remember? Yes. Oh yeah, and we did our, we did the hair and makeup, we did everything. Well, let's just say you, like, of course, everybody has best friends to look up to, and、mm-hmm. I just want to say that I am so thankful that you're one of my inspirations as well. Oh, Kaylee, thanks. Yes, you have- you oh, I love you too. We have so much fun together. We, we're going to do so many more fun things. And I'm so、yes. proud of your t-shirt company too. Thank you so much, Olivia Cooper. Let me. Do you have any? I have a question before you go.、Though. Yeah, of course, of course.、Um, We have a few more minutes. I just wanted to ask, why? How did you get? Inv- it's you. How did you get involved with Best Buddies? 
I know. So I got involved with Best Buddies when I was real. Th this is was a long time ago. I think I was 19. So that was nine years ago, which sounds crazy right now. But I was 19 and I was actually Miss Rhode Island and I was about to go compete in Miss USA. And that's the first time I met Mark, which you know, Mark, right? Absolutely. And we best. met in, um, yeah, Mark's the best. And we had this, we had a big event with, with all the 50 states. Maybe it was 51. I don't know if they, I don't know. Um, it changes every year. <laughs> but with all the states, we had this big event with Best Buddies before Miss USA pageant. And then from then on, I just kept working for, with everybody. And then after Mark and I just stayed in touch and we did, we just created a really great relationship. I made so many best friends like you. And I look forward to seeing you all the time. And I, and I love having you on this live too, because I feel like you inspire so many people too. Like what you just said is so inspirational. Do you have anything else that you would want to say to everyone watching about being themselves and loving themselves and being nice to one another? Yes. Um, this is my, one of my models I say in my speeches and I tell you to you guys too, is that never give up and dream big. This is, and you go beyond from that as well. And if you achieve, well, after that, I don't remember. <laughs> but um, I didn't say I have a lot of things that I do. And I just wanted to say to you guys, don't let anyone push you in the right direction. And to be who you are and what you are. I tell myself that I turn my abilities, no, wait, I turn my disabilities into abilities because the abilities comes first before the disability. Yeah. Because it goes beyond and sorry, that's my favorite word right now. <laughs> and I just thought maybe you guys say to yourself that, what does it call it? Um, don't be ashamed of who you are and what you really are. Because it's, it's all about you, not anyone else. Don't think that people can judge you because you're different. We are all unique and we're all equal to that. And Oh, I love that. Yeah. That is so inspirational. So oh, thank you for, for the inspiration that you give to everyone watching and to everyone in your life because you really are, you are all so inspirational. That's why I love working with Best Buddies so much. And I wish we could talk more about, I'll check out your live later. And um, we're, we're all gonna um, buy your t-shirts. And the, my next live is with Miracle. If you wanna say hi to Miracle after this and watch us talk. Um, but love you so much and I'll see you soon. Same to you. And thank you again, Olivia. You mean so much to everyone. Oh, of course you mean so much to everyone. I'll see you soon. Tell yes. your family I said hi. Well, I do. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so you guys, we are looking now for Miracle. And there she is. I realize that you can't add anybody until you've canceled the other one. Hey, Olivia. Oh, hi. hi. How are you? I'm good. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Do you Hi. want to introduce yourself to everyone watching? Yes. Hi, you guys. I'm Miracle Palayo, and I'm here with my girl, Olivia Colpo. And we, we go way back since 2016, I think, about five yeah. years. We do go way back. We've done so much together. We've gone bowling, pizza making, beauty day, uh, mother, brunch, mother, daughter, mother day brunch, met your whole family. Met mm -hmm. your dad, met your mom. I know yes. you have a sister that's that you love so much. Yeah. And two and two older brothers. And two older brothers, but you mm -hmm. I feel like your sister's your bestie. Yeah, she's like together. She's she's like at my hip. Cause you know, we're we're so close in age. You know, she's twenty she's twenty five, I'm twenty I'm twenty seven, so there's a two year um gap between us but the big gap is between me and my brothers because my brothers are in their 30s and, and then one is in his 40s i love that mm -hmm. that's so cute i know what do you I, want to? well i've been in colorado with my boyfriend and his family so we've been here for 80 days so we've been here for a really long time mm -hmm. and um are you you're in california right are you with your mom and dad and your sister yeah. with your mom and dad yeah it's just 
just my just my mom, my dad, and my sister, you know, we're staying inside. Um, we're not really going, we're not really going anywhere other than like, um, you know, Target if we need to, or, you know, like going to the beach for a little bit, and then we'll just come straight home. Um, but other than that, we're not really doing anything big because of everything going on right now. It's just too, it's just too much. So we're just being really safe. Good, you should be. And I just want everyone to know a little bit about Miracle. Miracle is an actress. Do you want to mm -hmm. tell any everyone anything else about you? I, well, I I started I started doing theater when I was fourteen, and then I started acting professionally when I was twenty. And then in two thousand sixteen, I became the first actress in Nickelodeon history to be on Belle and the Bulldogs. And then I did a web series with Alan Tudyk and Felicia Day and Nathan Fillion called Con Man. And then um, in 2018, I did a print job for Tommy Hilfiger Adaptive, which is a clothing line for people with disabilities. Oh, so, wow. That is yeah. so impressive. Mm -hmm. And Miracle has, Miracle has lots of followers. Not that that is it's everything, kind of, but it just goes to like, it's got a great it's network. It's kind of going like up and down a little bit, but I'm yeah. going to back up. You'll get it back up. You will. I think right now is a tough time. I don't think a lot of people are on social media. So, but it will, it will definitely, I mean, you've got a huge fan base, but um, yeah. Cause you have such a great message and you work so hard. Thank you. Of course. What have you been up to Olivia? Like how is everything for you? It's been really good. We've just been, we go outside a lot. We don't really leave the house ever, which mm -hmm. to go to the grocery store and then that's really it. Mm -hmm. And then, We've been watching a lot of TV. We've been trying to work out as much as we can. And then um, that's really that's really it. Oh, well, I started a company for my masks. Um, which oh, I yeah, I saw about. that. Yep. And then that's been keeping me really busy. And then that's really it for me. Um, have you been watching anything anything good on TV? I've, well, we kind of we reactivated Hulu, so I'm, like, catching up on shows like this is us sorry oh, i haven't watched watch that yet I, uh my niece maddie actually got me into it so i am like i've watched all the seasons but like now i'm watching i'm re-watching season four so i'm like bubbling my eyes out every single episode oh i know and also i you have to watch i first of all i had watched this is us and also you should try um little fires everywhere that's what i my just friend, watched my friend jade pettiton is in that is in that series Really? Yeah, I've known I've known Jade since she was like five years old, and now she's a series regular on that show. Wow. Okay. Well, that's cool. I I wonder where I have to look up the cast, but I did watch it, so I definitely saw her. Yeah, she's. I think she's. I think she's eighteen now. She's been acting since she was two. Um, but wow. that's. Well, she started out on Nickelodeon too, and then now she just got. The, the show that you just mentioned. So she's That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna look up the cast. Um, I'm gonna see if anybody watching has any questions for Miracle. Oh, Zoe has the best question. She wants to know, Miracle, do you have any favorite acting roles? That I've done or that of actors I've looked up to? That you've done. Um, definitely. Nickelodeon's Bella and the Bulldogs and um I haven't really like had that many um TV roles yet because of everything going on but I'm doing a lot of auditions you go on a I'm lot of auditions yeah a I lot of auditions that. right now especially with self-tapes um self-tape request and I'm working with my acting coach once a week that's so fun. Are you guys still working together even on like are you working together online right now or are you just yeah we're doing, we're doing right FaceTime and then, um, actually, my new acting coach is pregnant with my goddaughter. So I'm going to become a godmom in September. Your acting coach, she told you that you're going to be the godmother? That's so cute. Oh, I love that. And then that. you're going to be an auntie again, right? Yeah, I am. Remy's going to have a oh, baby my sister. God. I know. I, my, my niece, Olivia, just has a, she just got a new sister. So oh, I'm an auntie again, too. So you have two, how many nieces and nephews I have, do you have? Four, I have four nieces now and one nephew, so. You. That's awesome. Well, I don't want to, I don't want this to shut us off because I know that I, I think after an hour, which I found this for an hour, it shuts off 
which actually mm -hmm. we still have 13 minutes, so we have plenty of time. Okay. But I just want to know if you could tell everyone, what is, you, what is your life motto? My life motto is, well, uh, for those of you who don't know, I have cerebral palsy. And uh, you get that from being born too soon. Um, and also lack of oxygen in the brain when you're, when you're first born. So my motto is, if you can't stand up, stand out. So, and I actually got that quote from my friend, um, Angela Lockwood, who was on uh, Push Girls on Sundance. So she, she kind of started that quote and I just, I followed it. So it kind of became like my life motto. Oh, I love that. I hope everyone can find inspiration in that. And that's why your parents told me your name is Miracle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you were a miracle. Thank you. What do you, what do you got going on the rest of the day, Olivia? Well, I'm actually, I have a few more lives with buddies. I'm going to do, I have a live with, I think, not Kath. Let me see, actually. Said, what, are, what is your, what has been your favorite part of quarantine so far? I don't know if somebody's asking me that question or. I, I think they're asking you. This is all about you right now. Uh, my favorite part about quarantine. I think it's just binge watching stuff on Netflix. Yep. Or, you know, spending time with my mom and or my sister. Uh, that's probably been the, the most part. It's just like this crazy time has really brought family together because, you know, we need that right now. So. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. And then what if you guys been like baking or cooking or doing anything like that? Um, well, we've been eating takeout a lot. So uh, we're not really baking. We're just like, you know, my mom making stuff where we're eating Jack in the Box. We did. We, we do go to Starbucks a lot. So, yeah. Love Starbucks. Is it open? <laughs> it's open. Well, the drive-thru the, the drive is open. open. The drive-thru is open. Yeah, that's good. Does anybody else have any other questions for Dana? Oh, um, Mark said Dana Wax is up next. Actually, Miracle, who would you say from best? First of all, why do you love Best Buddies? And then who's your best friend in Best Buddies? Well, to answer the second question, the second question, it is definitely you. Um, Me? Oh, my yes. gosh. Mark's going to get so jealous. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and also I really, really love Charlotte too, Charlotte McKinney. Yeah, um, I love Charlotte too. I love Charlotte. And I think Best Buddies is extremely important because it shows the genuine of friendships and how we should all get along together in this crazy world and, you know, just really have the family that Best Buddy, Best Buddy creates. So I just think that's really, um, really special is that we oh, just come yeah. together as a family you know and even like when we even when we are together you know, like going to events and stuff like you know it feels like one big family reunion so i uh, it does i completely agree it really does and you guys bring out the best all the buddies bring out the best in i think everyone that they're around because you you're so <laughs> positive you're such a light you're always in such a great mood you don't sweat the small stuff. You you all love so unconditionally. So it's inspirational. It's the best type of energy to be around. Oh well, you're 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 such a genuine light to be around too. You know, like every time I see you, Olivia, you just completely glow with with like so much light. So. Oh, thanks, Miracle. You're I welcome. bet you my mom, my mom, by the way, says hi. Remember when you oh. met once my mom at the Mother's Day? What was her name again? Susan. Susan. I know and she talked to your mom and dad. Yes, exactly. That's yep. with, with Remy, right? Yep. So Remy, Aurora is Remy's mom. And then Remy's going to have another sister, which I don't know the name yet. But the sister of the my niece, niece is due in August. So. Oh, wow. My, goddaughter, my goddaughter is due a month um, after, Remy's, after Remy's sister. Oh, cute. Yeah, so she's going to be, she's probably almost maybe in her third trimester, I think. I don't know. That's so cool. I think this is like the year of babies because I know. Um, my, my, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law just had her second daughter and she was born in March and then um, her name's Aviana. So um, Olivia is just, my niece Olivia is just obsessed with her little sister. For some reason, she knew that it was going to be a girl. We were like, no, it's going to be a boy. She's like, no, it's going to be your girl. And sure enough, she was right. 
how'd she know? She did she? I don't know. Wow. I don't know. Maybe, so... maybe she had a dream about her or something, but um, she's like, no, it's gonna be a girl. We're like, no, it's gonna be a boy. And then sure enough, it's a girl. Oh, that's so cute. I maybe she does know. Maybe my sister thought she was gonna. She thought for sure she was gonna have a boy, and then she ended up having a girl. But they say that the baby can carry differently if it's a boy or a girl. Like it's higher, I think, if it's a boy. But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not how, how is that? How is that? I don't even know. I think it's a some sort of genetic thing. Um, I have another question for you, though, Miracle, because uh -huh. I don't want to go yet. What was I going to say? So, somebody brought up a good... That's what we're watching on TV, which we already went over that. Um, somebody said, where is your next shoot? Like, is that a question? Oh, yeah. That's for you. Where is your next shoot? Probably not for a while, right? Oh, not not for a while. It's just it's just auditions right now. But after everything's over, my manager and her best friend want to do um, a lifestyle photo shoot with me. So that's that's another thing in the works right now. So after a live shoot is cool. over. Yeah, you could do a FaceTime shoot. Can you do that? I never I never heard of that. I have heard that a lot of people are doing that like basically just screenshots they... i know it's not interesting How but i think you have to do it on a computer well the photographer just takes pictures i think of the screen mm -hmm. basically but it's pretty cool they look really so actually cool. pretty that is so cool yeah um does anyone else have any questions for miracle are you working on any projects right now, Olivia? Like acting wise or yeah. Oh no. Or? Well, I have three projects that are coming out, but they're <laughs> they're not out yet. And then I don't have anything pending because everything's been kind of sorry, I paused myself. Everything's been pretty much canceled. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, yeah. Just, it's really hard right now. Like I have so many friends that booked jobs but everything's postponed. I know, yeah. So it's just a lot of free time. But like you said, it's nice to be able to spend time with your family, um, understand the things that we used to take for granted, mm -hmm. like going somebody, to the store. Somebody asked, what's your favorite food? I don't know if that's for you or for me. I think it's to you. Um, my favorite food, I would have to say my mom's rice. She makes Ooh. really good Mexican rice. Yum. What's and does I it have also, the internet or what's it love, like? I also love the the tacos from Jack in the Box. Like that's my guilty pleasure. Gosh, you and my mom both. <laughs> so random. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So are you looking forward to when quarantine's all over? Yeah, it's like I want to get back to normal life. I feel like I'm confined in our house, but I, I, like I just feel like we're just stuck. Yeah, you know, no, I know. It's really, I never expected, you know, my mom and I were just talking about this, you know, we never expected to witness all of this in our lifetime, you know? I know, but it's good time that you get to spend with each other, right? I know. Hold on, someone's, someone's asking, who's one actor that you, that she would want to work with? Okay. I would probably, I like, yeah. I have, like, a top five. Well, definitely one is Meryl Streep. Wow. Uh, Renona Ryder from Stranger Things. I love her. Um, Emma Stone. Uh, okay. Amanda Seyfried. Um, and what's the fifth one? I want to work with Le Leonardo DiCaprio. Love. I think those are solid choices. Clearly someone's been doing their film research. Yes. I, yeah. I'm always, I'm constantly studying, even though I'm not like in, even though I'm not like in an acting class right now, like I'll watch like drama and comedy and, and study like their, you know, what they're doing or their technique. I'm right now, my acting coach is teaching me how to like cry on cue. So I'm, I'm watching like stuff that makes me cry. So it's so I can like just tap into it right away. Wow, that is so impressive. You guys, how impressive is Miracle? I can't believe it. That's unbelievable. I mean, you work so hard. You're going to be so successful. You already are so successful. But. What, are, what are you, what are you, what's the first thing that you want to do when you get out of, when we get out of quarantine? I, I want to see my nephew because I really miss him. My little, he's about I to know. turn two. I know. And he's so I mean, cute. Like, you can only do so much FaceTime with someone, you know, it's I not know. like that physical, it's not like that physical 
interaction of like hugging them and putting them like close to you. So it's I know. Yeah, I, yeah know. I always just look at my sister's Instagram to see what he's up to. Do you follow my my older Hi. sister? I think so. My mom. My mom said hi. Hi. I remember I met your mom and your dad at the Mother's Day brunch, and I met your mom on many yeah. times. Yeah, her, her name's Stephanie, and my and my dad's name is Pete. Love it. My dad's name's Pete too. That's crazy. I know, and my brother. Oh yeah, we have a senior, Peter Senior, and Peter Junior too. Oh my gosh, we're twins. We're That's twins. So we're twins. <laughs> So like, back to what I was saying before, um, what's, where's the first place that you want to go to when quarantine is over? Like, if you can take any vacation, oh, where do you want to go? I kind of really, I've been wanting to go to Hawaii for a really long time, and I haven't been able to go. So I feel like I honestly kind of want to do that. I think also traveling internationally feels a little bit scary. I know, I know. Like, the first thing that my mom wants to do when we're done with all of this she said, "We're gonna go to we're gonna go to Santa Barbara for five days." I'm like, "Oh, that'll be fun." Yeah, that's because that's just a quick little road trip. I know, but we need it. We we seriously like we need to get away for a little bit. Yeah, no, I think that that's a that's a really good idea. So maybe you guys will be able to go in like a month or two months. I don't know yet. I wonder. I well, Mark is telling Mark is telling me that um it's time to go on with dana but mark if you're watching um I hi think mark i miss you <laughs> we miss you mark i think that lives only work for one hour so i think i have to like log out is that, that right i've never heard of that well this is Maybe I'm wrong. my first instagram live they might have uh, changed I wanted, it. I wanted to do an instagram live when i got up to 10k but um i'm glad okay. i got to do it with you I know. And don't worry, you're going to get to 10K soon. I have Thank no doubt. You. Thank you. No doubt. Yeah, absolutely. So do, does anyone here watching know if you can stay on live for more than an hour? Someone? Oh, it lasts only one hour. So Miracle, I'm going to sign oh, off, but then I'm going to come back on and I'm going to go live with Dana and then Niam. Okay. So if you want to watch, watch, but love you so much. I love Mwah. you. I love you. Miss you. Miss you more. Tell your family I said hi. I will. I will. Okay, I'm going to log off and on. Bye, everyone. Bye.